Hey guys, welcome back to Zephyr's Travel. I'm Randy. And I'm Diane. And this week we are in Vermont. Our first time in Vermont. Yep, a brand new state for us. And currently we are staying at Campfires, Campground Inn and Entertainment. And it's located in Drummerston, Vermont, which is right near Br Brattleboro, yeah, Brattleboro, Vermont. Brattleboro, Vermont. We've been struggling with that one. I don't know why we keep, you know, messing it up, but we've been struggling with that name. But we got it this time. And and it's a it's a pretty nice little campground. We had some friends staying here, and actually they're work camping for the summer, and so we decided to come and visit them. And it, actually, the little town of Brattleboro was really nice. Yeah, I mean it's an it's an older village city yeah and you know a lot of older buildings businesses a lot of local shops and businesses there's a really nifty sporting goods store Sam's sporting good or outdoor equipment or whatever they call themselves but they have a lot of different uh, clothing and camping supplies and Fishing such like supplies. That. yeah and you can totally get lost in this store I mean I actually get to look for Diane at one point because it's so big yep it's actually several floors yeah and with like randy said a variety of stuff um yes this back to the campground it's a very nice campground they actually offer ice cream shop there there's miniature golf as well and they do have a pool that is available for a fee for local residents yeah but it, it's included in your camping there is a fee for right. the miniature golf um, but the pool is available in it, part of your camping but they do sell memberships to the people who live in the area to come and use it um, there is actually even an inn here with four uh, rooms that can four be rented rooms, so you know small. yep yep um, they do offer it looks like events and entertainment yeah right behind us down here there is an amphitheater and i guess on friday nights they have live music there i don't hopefully not all night but right <laughs> we're not here on friday so we don't know we, we we came sunday through wednesday for our stay here right i understand the the weekends are a lot busier on thursday starting on thursday yeah yeah it, it is very nice now we have a a wooded site and it's kind of a little like a uh, like a state park type of campsite back here. Um, very shaded, very heavy canopy of uh, trees above us and such. Um, but there are other sites, there's pull through sites that we'll show you in some B roll over here that um, are you know more open if you want that. Uh, there is a dog park here. Um, a got, large dog park. Yeah, Monty and Zephyr. Um, got to go to that and we'll show you that. Well, you want to show them the campsite? Oh, okay. One other thing they do offer in this campground is they do have an on-site laundromat for um, campers. And our site, and it appears most sites, are good size. You're not right on top of your neighbor. There is the fire pit. Each site has its own uh, picnic table. Plenty of room to stretch out to pull your awning out, um, you know, chairs. You do have your electric there, water, and I understand they're gonna be renovating this section of the campground during the off season because the, uh, what do you call that? Sewer hookup. The sewer hookup is really not convenient probably for most trailers. Yeah, it's, see it here it's way up in the front there's there's your your 30 amp hookup and your water I do believe the other sites in the pull through section have 50 amp you can see for us to use the sewer we had to use it before we parked and we will dump on our way out essentially right but you can see here just kind of scan up how thick the tree cover is above us so it is very shady. It would be great, you know, in real hot weather. Yeah, and it, it's nice. We requested a shaded spot because of our dogs. And um, the first couple days we were here, it was sunny. Today is a little bit overcast. Rain is in the forecast beginning tomorrow. One thing about these 
campsites. They would be suitable for a tent and our Airstream is 28 feet long and that probably maybe another foot but this wouldn't be suitable for a longer class A or fifth wheel. Um, ours probably is a good length for these sites. Yeah I think it said on their website that this was for a 30 foot trailer which you know we're pretty close to that. Right. So not much more. The pull through sites are suitable for a longer class A fifth yeah, wheel. They could probably do travel trailer. 40, 50 feet. Yeah. So that's where you'll be. This is one of the pull through sites that the campground has to offer. You can see it is. It's it's a good size pull through. You do have your 50 amp electric, your sewer, your water. Again, the picnic table. There is like a little stone area that you know would be suitable to set up a grill or chairs. So yeah, and there's plenty of grass all around it. And uh, but this this side, along with their other pull-through sites, you are in the direct sunlight. There's absolutely no shade. One of the things that this campground also offers is they have an Airstreams trailer that they do rent out. Um, I don't know if there's a minimum length of stay or what the you know stipulations are, but they do have the one Airstream. So for right now, that appears to be their only rental. And then you can stay in the inn that they have here as well. And it looks very nice. It's very small there's only four rooms but you know like a s small hotel or whatever but it looks cute okay. today we stopped into the city of brattleboro vermont to take a look around and we're standing outside of sam's outdoor Outfitters and it's a local sporting goods store that is locally owned and we're gonna go check inside because everyone's told us it's really quite the place to check out stuff. So let's go. and there's a lot of neat stuff in there but of course when you have an Airstream you can't buy everything so got a hat <laughs> I got nothing well you didn't see anything that you wanted did you I thought it was a bit expensive yeah they are typically stores like this are a little bit more than your chain stores so. yeah so but. yeah so nothing for me nothing for you okay, okay. all right let's check out the rest of this downtown stop for lunch here at the works I don't think it's a local restaurant I think it's a chain but I got a chicken barbecue sandwich and Diane got a very delicious smoothie enjoy your lunch All right, so today my friend TJ and I, we're going for a hike, and we are where? We are in Hinsdale, New Hampshire, and this is the Mount 
what I can't pronounce it. It's a big long name. <laughs> yeah, it's a it's it's a post. It was recommended by, to us by the um, uh, person at the state park, and so we thought we would give it a try and see what we think. It's supposed to be a really good hike, and it seems to be fairly popular. There's a number of cars here, so we're going to see what it, how it is. And by the way, put something in the comments if you recognize TJ. <laughs> made it to the top yeah and the views up here is pretty good yeah not bad it's Gotta, a it's a little strenuous of a hike it's a pretty good hike yeah Yeah, it's all uphill a lot of walking over rocks you know nothing really climbing but a lot of stepping right. and a lot, a lot of uphill mostly uphill yeah and if you have if you're not used to doing this you're gonna want to stop a couple times at least I did <laughs> I made TJ stop just for me so uh -huh. <laughs> but yeah I didn't need to stop at all I no, was perfectly I fine but that heavy breathing was just the way I breathed. <laughs> just taking deep breaths, weren't you? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Well, that's a really nice hike. You get a real good view of the town down below. Um, was it Battle? No. Uh, Brattleboro. 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 You can yeah. see Mount Snow from here. Uh, you can see um, that's a nice clear day today. I don't know. You could probably see a good 200 miles. It yeah. Like, so pretty awesome. Yeah, this is. This is really something. And now we get the fun part going down. Yes. I think I can keep up better doing that. <laughs> we'll have to race. Oh, well, well, there we go. <laughs> I think there's going to be injuries and blood. Yes, probably so. <laughs> oh, well, we will continue our way down then. strenuous but good hike yeah it was it was a good it was good a lot of climbing a lot of rocks we said that at the top right. you know we're repeating it just so in case you know um, but it was it was enjoyable yeah I mean I think we did about four miles round trip yeah I'd uh, say that yeah took us a few hours good hike yeah I can tell you that it, it's about 5,000 steps nice race off my watch sure. so that's a pretty good walk that means we can eat more for dinner and have a beer. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Which I think we better go do right now. I'm all for it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Mosquitoes are out now. I'll try this again. We hope you enjoyed our little tour of Campfire's Campground. We, I think I was surprised at how nice it is here. Yeah, uh, you never know how a campground is going to be until you actually get there for yourself. Some are better, some are worse, but this turned out to be a very nice campground. Yeah, it is. I mean, it. we probably could have taken one of the sunnier sites, being that it really the heat wave broke by the time we got here, but we had been under a heat wave for a while. But this site is nice. Um, being wooded and, you know, brush and stuff around here, 
we are having a problem with mosquitoes. If you see us going like this, that's why. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, but other than that, uh, you know, you have mosquitoes everywhere, so, you know. But, well, we haven't had a big problem at home, so. Yeah, but I mean, mosquitoes are everywhere. So, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. true. So. I mean, it's not really unique to this or a bad thing to this. It's just right. they're everywhere. Right. We yeah. had them at the last campground we were at, so. That's true. We yeah. can't avoid them. Yeah. But it's, it's a very nice campground. We, we enjoyed our stay here, but we are going to have to move on tomorrow. And so at this point, I think this is where we're going to end this video. And we're going to ask you if you haven't done so already, and if you'd like to, to what? Subscribe to our channel, Zephyr Travels. And if you enjoyed this video and you want to share that back to us, hit the thumbs up button to let us know that. And give us a comment. What, have you been to Vermont? Are there places in Vermont that we need to go visit our next trip here? Because we are going to come back this, this way again in the future. And where have, what have you seen and where, should, where have you gone to that we should visit? Right, or if you have any other suggestions uh, about places to visit in the New England area, let us know. That's right. So at this point, we are going to end it, and we're going to say, see you down the road, guys. See ya. Bye. Bye. Okay. okay. <laughs>